सो हेलो स्टूडेंट्स एंड वेलकम टू दिस रिकॉल सेशन ऑफ एनेटमी द क्वेश्चन विच वेर आस्ट इन द नीट पी जी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री लेट एस जस्ट गो थ्रू इट स्टूडेंट्स आई एम श्योर यू मस्ट हैव आंसर्ड ऑल दिस लेट एस स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट एम सी क्यू अ ट्वेंटी थ्री ईयर्स ओल्ड पेशेंट person presented to the opd with complaints of not able to dorsiflex not able to dorsiflex yes what comes to our mind dorsiflexion of the foot is done by which compartment uh, muscles of the leg yes the anterior compartment muscles the anterior compartment of the leg they do dorsiflexion at the ankle joint which is the nerve which supplies the muscles of the anterior compartment students yes that's a deep peroneal nerve deep peroneal nerve and this deep peroneal nerve is a branch of common peroneal nerve common peroneal nerve this common peroneal nerve is going to wind around the neck of the fibula and this is the site where it is very commonly injured the common peroneal nerve is damaged against the neck of the fibula both the superficial and deep peroneal nerves are injured what is the person complain of the person complains of yes loss of dorsiflexion and loss of eversion eversion of the foot okay so let us go through this mcq a 23 year old person presented to the opd with complaints of not able to dorsiflex which of the following points would be would the nerve be damaged to have the above findings yes so what do you think students answer is c for the c understanding answer is c for this because the nerve which winds around the neck of the fibula is the common peroneal nerve and this is a site where it is very commonly injured the common peroneal nerve clear so that would result in loss of dorsiflexion as well as loss of eversion of the foot eversion now which is the nerve which supplies the skin on the medial aspect of the leg which is the nerve which is related uh, to the medial aspect of the leg it supplies the skin on the medial aspect of the leg and the foot up to the great toe yes saphenous nerve so a is going to be the saphenous nerve which is the nerve which supplies the skin on the medial aspect of the thigh that's the lateral cute i mean that's a medial cutaneous nerve of thigh medial cutaneous nerve of thigh and this b would be a branch of femoral nerve which is going to supply the the knee joint the articular branch of the femoral nerve which is going to supply the knee joint okay so what are the options here answer is common peroneal nerve a would be saphenous nerve yes uh, b is the femoral nerve yes c is the medial cutaneous nerve so answer is c for this i hope this is clear students yes let us proceed okay the mark structure in the below image is defect in which of the following okay so that's the mark structure here this is the mark structure so what is this indicating that's the inguinal canal so what is this this is the deep inguinal ring and that's the superficial inguinal ring students you know this the deep inguinal ring is a defect in fascia transversalis fascia transversalis and the superficial inguinal ring is a defect in the external oblique aponeurosis very good external oblique aponeurosis clear so that's a superficial inguinal ring what is conjoint tendon the conjoint tendon is formed by the internal and the transverse abdominis together uh, known as the conjoint tendon and what does it contribute to it contributes to the roof of the inguinal canal and the posterior wall of the inguinal canal on the medial aspect that is formed by the conjoint tendon the roof and the posterior wall on the medial aspect is formed by conjoint tendon clear now there's an artery here there's an artery which is related to this uh, deep ring that's the inferior epigastric artery inferior epigastric easy mcq let us proceed to the third mcq which of the following muscle is attached to the articular disc of tm joint students i've told you this i've told you if you remember the degenerated parts of the muscle yes the answer is lateral pterygoid the lateral pterygoid uh, the articular disc of tm joint is the degenerated part of lateral pterygoid muscle lateral pterygoid and that is why students in 
in uh, dislocation of the TM joint. When the TM joint undergoes dislocation, the lateral pterygoid undergoes spasm and it pulls the articular disc forwards. So the articular disc is pulled in front due to spasm of which muscle lateral pterygoid. And this lateral pterygoid is attached to the articular disc of TM joint. Clear? Okay, the rest of these three muscles are the muscles of mastication that we know of. Clear. So third MCQ is clear to all of you students. Very good. Let us proceed. Which of the following structure defect resulted in the below clinical condition? Okay, let us have a look at this. So that's the defect here. And yes, what do you say? What is this defect? This is a communication between the pulmonary artery and the aorta. Yes, that's the patent ductus arteriosus patent ductus arteriosus let me just explain this to you see um, in fetal life one moment huh? that's the aortic sac how many aortic arch arteries are there to begin with there are six aortic arch arteries very good out of which three disappears off the first disappears the second disappears and the fifth aortic arch artery disappears so now what are we left with okay that's the arch that's the dorsal aorta this also I told you. Okay, let us just see this. That's uh, right. So what is this arch artery? That's the third arch artery. This is the fourth arch artery and that's the sixth arch artery. Third, fourth and sixth arch artery. Right. So that's the aortic sac. That's the third. That's the fourth. And that's the sixth arch artery. The sixth arch artery is known as the pulmonary artery. It is going to form the future pulmonary artery. Right. And this sixth arch artery begins from the aortic sac to the dorsal aorta. This sixth arch artery gives a bud here for the lungs. What is this known as the lung bud? Now, students, on the right side, on the right side, this part of the sixth arch artery between the lung bud and the aorta disappears off. On the right side, the part of the sixth arch artery between the lung bud and the aorta disappears off. On the right side, on the left side, it remains persistent. And this is what is known as the ductus arteriosus. So ductus arteriosus is a persistence of, is derived from the part of the left sixth arch artery between the lung bud and the dorsal aorta fine after birth what happens to this ductus arteriosus it becomes the ligamentum arteriosum it it um, obliterates off it becomes the ligamentum arteriosum but suppose if it remains patent suppose if this ductus arteriosus remains persistent this is what we call as the persistent ductus arteriosus and this is due to the left sixth arch artery clear that's the left sixth arch artery perfect perfect okay students let us go to the next mcq a direct inguinal hernia is due to weakness of which of the following yes you must be knowing this easy mcq students easy mcqs now see um, i'll just make this for you that's a rectus abdominis that's a pubic symphysis this is the superficial ring that's a deep ring what is this artery? I've just told you the inferior epigastric artery. If a hernia comes out through the deep ring, enters the inguinal canal and gets out through the superficial ring, that's an indirect inguinal hernia. Indirect inguinal hernia. And hernia which comes out through this triangle, what is that known as? A direct inguinal hernia. And a direct inguinal hernia is due to weakness of the, yes, weakness of the muscles, weakness of the muscles of the anterior abdominal wall yes so direct inguinal hernia is due to weakness of which of the following yes answer here is conjoint tendon and the conjoint tendon is uh, formed by the internal oblique and the transverse abdominus it contributes to the formation of the roof and the posterior wall on the medial aspect so if this posterior wall of the inguinal canal is weak it results in a direct inguinal hernia correct what is Popart's ligament? That's the other name for the inguinal ligament. The inguinal ligament on the medial aspect, it turns like this. It turns. What is that turn known as? The lacunar ligament. This turn is known as the lacunar ligament. Incidentally, students, this lacunar ligament forms the medial boundary of the femoral ring. Femoral ring. 
this the same lacunar ligament goes back and this is what we call as the pectinate ligament pectinate so popart's ligament is inguinal ligament on the medial aspect it is known as the lacunar ligament the posterior part it is the pectinate ligament okay so clear with this mcq answer is conjoint tendon coming to the last mcq which of the following is a derivative of mark structure in adult yes this is the mark structure here student what is this this is a connection in fetal life there's a connection between the urinary bladder and the umbilicus and this is what we call as the uracus or allantois allantois correct after birth this obliterates off and this is what is going to form the median umbilical ligament so median umbilical ligament is the obliterated uracus suppose if it doesn't obliterate it results in a weeping umbilicus or a urinary fistula right what is medial umbilical ligament it is the obliterated umbilical artery obliterated umbilical artery is the medial umbilical ligament the obliterated left umbilical vein becomes the ligamentum teres hepatis obliterated left umbilical vein is the ligamentum teres hepatis and meckel's diverticulum what is this students what is this that's the vitelline duct or the vitello intestinal duct normally this entire white line duct obliterates off if this entire white line duct remains persistent this is what results in a fecal fistula but most of the times the distal part of the white line duct disappears off and the proximal part remains the persistent proximal part of the vitelline duct is known as the meckel's diverticulum that's the meckel's diverticulum clear so persistent proximal part of white line duct that's meckel's diverticulum so answer for this is the median umbilical ligament students is this clear to all of you easy mcqs we had already discussed this in the sprint session of pw neat 2023 series thank you for the patient listening thank you to all of you stop